Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found a YouTube channel. Then to the video today, we're looking at why some ice cubes are clear while others are cloudy. Unless you happen to have a specialized ice machine in your home, it's practically guaranteed that your freezer makes ice of the cloudy variety. A popular and well-known trick to make clearer ice is to boil the water first or use distilled water. However, even doing this won't guarantee the kind of perfectly clear ice you'd find in a high-end bar or restaurant. This is because how clear ice is is only partially dependent on the purity of the water you use, meaning that even if you manage to procure the tears of a saint and pass it through the world's best water filter, you'd still likely end up with ice that's a little cloudy. So what exactly is going on here? For those of you who do have the time, go to a nearby sink and pour yourself a glass of water. Now, unless you live in an area with bad plumbing, or you poured the glass of water into a dirty glass or something, we're going to guess that the water, well, it's perfectly clear. Sure, you may see a few nondescript particles floating in the glass, but that's hardly enough to explain why it looks like someone crammed half a cloud into your freezer when you try to turn that water into ice. The answer to this mystery lies in the temperature of the water. Water. You see, at room temperature, there are a lot of impurities that are dissolved into regular old tap water. As you might recall from high school chemistry, the warmer water is, the more of a given substance it is possible to dissolve into it. For example, sugar has very weak molecular bonds that require only a small amount of energy to break. Thus, as you supply water with more and more energy by heating it, the amount of sugar you can dissolve within it increases, and vice versa. You perhaps have noticed this phenomenon when sweetening hot tea versus cold, or after letting a sugared cup of coffee get cold, with the sugar dissolving fine when it's hot, but showing up at the bottom of your cup when the coffee gets cold. This is essentially also what happens with ice. As you cool the water, all the impurities that were happily dissolved in it at room temperature separate themselves from the liquid, and they become visible. You might now be wondering why these impurities tend to congregate toward the center of the ice cube, rather than being evenly distributed. This is because, as water freezes, it crystallizes. This crystallization process generally rejects or forms more efficiently without most of the types of impurities found in tap water. This results in the impurities getting pushed into the unfrozen water towards the center as the ice freezes from the outside in. Of course, eventually, the remaining bit of water in the center will freeze, keeping all the impurities in the center because they've got nowhere to go. This fact can actually be used as a way to purify water by freezing the water, then melting it, and keeping only the outer bits. This is why partially formed ice cubes, where most of the center is still liquid, are usually very clear. The water containing these still dissolved sediments and impurities hasn't cooled enough to let them show up. So now the question must become, what exactly are these impurities, and well, where do they come from? Well, the most common culprits are lime, colloquially known as lime scale, followed by fluoride, calcium, and a whole host of other organic materials that are practically unavoidable in water. In fact, many of these impurities are actually pretty good for you, like calcium and magnesium. Heating, softening, or filtering the water is only one way of removing some, if not all, of these impurities, and is potentially the reason that boiled and filtered water often yields somewhat clearer ice cubes. However, as mentioned, you're likely still not going to get a completely clear ice cube, even if you filter off the impurities. So, well, what else is going on here? As the water crystallizes, tiny bubbles of air form. These bubbles get trapped within the ice like any other impurity. Specialized ice makers avoid this by freezing water in layers to stop most air bubbles from forming in the first place. They also tend to freeze water extremely slowly, setting the temperature much higher than common household freezers in order to form larger crystal structures and to allow time for any air bubbles that do form to escape. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, I'd like to take this moment to thank our patrons on Patreon. If you're interested in supporting us with a completely voluntary financial contribution, please do consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash today I found out. We've got loads of great perks lined up like... Um Posters, posters like this, and all sorts of other great things. Head on over there, patreon.com forward slash today I found out to check it out. And as always, thank you for watching.